Hello! Today my walk takes me from Westminster Bridge along the River Thames towards the Tower of London. I shall be walking along the north bank of the Thames. Now most people walk on the south bank which has a dedicated walkway and many cafes and restaurants. I shall however be glancing across the river to the south bank on my way and I'll be passing Waterloo Bridge and the City of London. The walk is about three miles. Westminster Tube Station was futuristic when the Jubilee Line arrived here over 20 years ago. It still has a futuristic look. Elizabeth Tower, which houses the Great Bell, Big Ben, is still undergoing renovation. Portcullis House is an office building opened in 2001 to provide offices for 213 members of Parliament and their staff. This is Westminster Bridge. I shall be following the Thames Path along the north bank of the Thames to London Bridge. Across on the south bank is the former headquarters of the Greater London Council and next to it the London Eye. It gets a bit complicated here. This is New Scotland Yard, the former headquarters of the Metropolitan Police, now occupied by MPs. And this is New Scotland Yard, the current headquarters of the Metropolitan Police Service, the fourth such premises since the Forces Foundation in 1829. The police headquarters moved here in 2016. Formerly known as the Curtis Green Building after its architect, this building dates from 1935. This park on the North Bank contains memorials to a number of conflicts the UK was involved in. This is Charing Cross Mainline Station and this is the Playhouse Theatre used in the 60s by the BBC to broadcast programmes such as Easy Beat. There are many parks and green areas along the embankment. This is Cleopatra's Needle, nothing to do with the Egyptian Queen. It was originally erected in the Egyptian city of Heliopolis around 1450 BC. In 1819 it was given to Britain as a gift. Spanning the River Thames from the north to the south bank is Waterloo Bridge. The first bridge on this site opened in 1817 as a toll bridge. The current bridge was officially opened in September 1942. It's the only Thames Bridge to have been damaged by German bombers during the Second World War. I'm following the route of the district line along the Thames Path and this is the grand entrance to the Temple District, the historic legal district. I'm not sure Doctor Who and his travelling companions will be able to use this police box. Exterminate! This is the start of the City of London.
Now I have to do a bit of a detour here because they're building a new sewer tunnel under the Thames. This is Blackfriars Station, built over the river, and this is Blackfriars Bridge. This is the Tate Modern, originally Bankside Power Station. This is the Millennium Bridge, opened by the Queen in 2000. It became known as the Wibbly Wobbly Bridge as it swayed when people walked on it until engineers installed dampers to prevent it swaying. There's a climate change demonstration taking place here in the shadows of St Paul's Cathedral. Following the Thames Path to Southwark Bridge, you get a good view of London's tallest building, the Shard. This is London Bridge. The current bridge was open for traffic in 1976. The previous bridge is in Arizona. Well, that was my walk along the north bank of the River Thames. Hope you enjoyed the video. Time for me to go home now and I'll see you next time.